This topic is called multiplicative property of equality with fractions. Now I'm just going to pause for a second because multiplicative is one of my favorite math words. It's super cool and it's really fun to say. So you should totally just pause the video and say multiplicative and say it a few times because it just brings great happiness. So um, in this case, whenever you see property of equality, that just means there's going to be an, an equation involved. Equation is just um, a statement with an equal sign in it. And usually when we see those, we're solving for a variable. In this case, we're gonna be having fractions involved in our equation somewhere. So right now we have, um, the very first thing you wanna do is find out where the X is and you see that it's um, attached to the six, seven. So that's where we wanna focus for now. So I'm just gonna pull away from the problem for a second to show you what, what we're gonna do and why. So um, we have this fraction six, seven. Oh, PS. Unless I, have, unless I said it already, but please subscribe to my channel and then like any videos that are helpful to you. So we have six sevenths X, but we want a one X. So we have to figure out what do we multiply six sevenths by to get one. So it's going to be another fraction. And this is just a property that um, is really very helpful to know. And what it is is when you multiply reciprocals together, it equals one. So we just have to know that when we multiply six sevenths by seven six, PS the reciprocal, it's just like a fraction turned upside down. So the reciprocal of six sevenths is seven six. This actually, when you multiply those two together, it equals one. Um, if you can't see it, just multiply straight across six times seven is 42, seven times six is 42. And when you do 42 divided by 42, you get one. We want one X. So we have to multiply six sevenths by seven six. That's gonna give us our one X that we want. But we can't just go willy-nilly multiplying um, equation, like one side of an equation. We have to multiply the other side to keep it balanced times 7, 6. Sometimes multiplying fractions with whole numbers can get confusing or kind of hard to see. So if you imagine that the whole number has a 1 under it, that can be very helpful to you. So we're going to do 42 times 7, and then we're going to divide by 6. That makes it a little bit more difficult. If you can divide 42 by 6 first, that's going to be really helpful which you can. Six goes into 42 seven times and into itself one. In the denominator, we have one times one, which is one. Anytime we divide by one, we just get what's in the numerator. So our answer is 49 or seven times seven. So we're gonna put 49 right here. Of course, you can always plug in the answer you get for the variable and see if it works, which it should if if you do it correctly. Okay, more we need to do this one. Okay. Okay, so sometimes our fractions are written with the variable in the numerator. It's okay to separate it out and say that's two ninths times u. A lot of times um, that's hard to see. So it's something that's very visual and we need to kind of train our eyes to see that fraction separate from the variable. In this case, that variable is u equals four. So we find where u is, and here it is on the left side with that two ninths. We want one u, so we're going to go ahead and multiply both sides by nine over two. This will give us one u, which is what we wanted, and um, four times nine, and then we divide by two. Again, if you want to, you could put a one there. That might be a little more helpful to see. But let's divide four by two first. It'll give us two, and two goes into itself one. And then uh, we just have two times nine for our answer because we're dividing by one, which just gives us 18. All right, let's just do one more for kicks and giggles. One more, okay. So again, in this problem, um, the X has a fraction on it. Sometimes seeing that variable over there on the right side can get a little disconcerting, especially when you're first learning about um, solving for variables. It's okay, because these two are equal, you are welcome to switch sides. So if you want, we could put 5 sevenths X on the left and 35 on the right. If that looks more like better to you, then just do it. It's uh, totally legal in the math world. So we are multiplying X by 5, five sevenths, and we wanna get one X. So we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal of 5 sevenths, which is 7 fifths, and we have to do it to both sides. So we have X, let's divide 35 by five first. And five by five, so we get 49. Our answer is seven times seven, which is 49. All right, well, that was our answer for the first one. Okay, that's the end of the lesson.